Good morning, Eisenhower. We are broadcasting live from the ETV studio and now live streaming to YouTube. Congrats, Eisenhower, for the great win yesterday. Yeah, we'll hear about this epic win more in today's announcements. I'm your host, Shiloh, along with Stephen. Today is Tuesday, February 13th, day B. Today in history, on February 13th, 1795, the University of California opens as the first state university in the United States. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. And now for today's announcements with Maggie and Kayla. Thanks, Shiloh and Steven. Good morning. I'm Maggie along with Kayla. What does today's weather look like? Mostly sunny today with a high of 38. Mostly cloudy tonight with a low of 28. Partly cloudy tomorrow with a, low, with a high of 49. Now here's Maggie with today's announcements. Thank you, Kayla. <coughs> Congratulations to the boys basketball team on completing a perfect 13-0 season with a 55-44 win over Hohokus in the championship game yesterday. Kevin led all scorers with 33 points and helped hold off of Hocus by going 7 for 8 from the free throw line in the fourth quarter. Robbie had two points and controlled the boards. Brady and Grant had eight points each, and Mikey had five points, including a big three-pointer to help the Generals pull away late in the game. Mr. Finale and the boys would like to thank all the students, teachers, and parents that attended the game to help cheer us on. Students, get your laptops ready for Thursday's ETV quiz. This Thursday, every student can go on Go to the Eisenhower website and click on the link to the ETV quiz submission form. You will be asked to put in your name and the name of your homeroom teacher. After the host reads the questions, if you are the first student to submit the correct answer, your homeroom will win and we will announce your name. Good luck to all. Today is the deadline for handing in your permission slip to play in the student versus faculty basketball game. If you have a signed permission slip, please bring it to either Mrs. Tyrone in room 415 or Ms. Burns in room 412 by the end of the day today. Today is Tuesday. Only core Thai classes are available. Phys Ed, Open Labs, Art, Home Ec, and World Language Ties are not available today. Here's Kayla with the rest of these announcements. Thank you, Maggie. Attention Ski Club members, we do not have a ski trip on Thursday of this week. The last ski trip is on Thursday, March 1st. Attention all 7th and 8th grade students interested in joining the Eisenhower track and field team. There will be a track and field interest meeting after school tomorrow, Wednesday, February 14th, in the cafeteria from 3 to 3.45. If you cannot make the meeting, see Coach Schuser or Coach Block as soon as possible. Also, all medical forms for spring sports are due to the nurse by Thursday, March 8th. Check the nurse's website for additional information. There will be a brief interest meeting for 7th and 8th grade girls interested in trying out for softball this Wednesday after school in room 505. If you cannot attend the meeting, please see Ms. Coppola during Thai or check the softball website for details per pertaining the tryouts and medical forms. Are we celebrating any birthdays? There are no birthdays today. What's for lunch today? Today's lunch is popcorn shrimp boat. What's tomorrow's lunch? Tomorrow's lunch is Brilla pasta bar with choices of sauce, garlic bread, and homemade Italian meatballs. What's in the headlines? President Trump has proposed steep cuts to domestic programs and large increases in military spending as part of a $4.4 trillion budget proposal that he sent to Congress on Monday. And, and now for today's feature with Billy, Billy Colin, Colin, and Brady. Hey, you next term? Yeah, Mr. DeBlock taught me all about the STEM lab. It's pretty interesting. I heard Eisenhower is amazing at STEM. Let's go watch this feature on 8th grade STEM. Hey, Victoria, did you have STEM this year? No, I didn't, but I have it in 6th and 7th grade, though. I wonder what they do. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Students learn the basic process of building. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Let's go see what 8th grade is doing in their STEM classes. So, Ms. Burns, what are you guys doing in STEM right now? Um, currently, we're trying to solve the problem for a small community that has a farming or a farm, and they're trying to... Uh, build a bridge to get to the city so they can sell their crops. And do you think STEM is beneficial for the students? Yeah, we learn a lot of cool stuff about uh, the forces that are involved with big structures like bridges. Um, we talk about financial um, efficiency and economic efficiency, structural efficiency, all of that stuff. So it's good problem solving practice. Thank you. Ava, did you have STEM this year? Yes. 
Did you like it? Yes. <laughs> What'd you do? We learned about different bridges and how to help it with the environment. Thank you. Is STEM one of your classes this year? Yes. Are you looking forward to it? Yes, I'm really looking forward to being in the class with my friends and learning new things. Did you do STEM this year? Yes. How do you think STEM benefits the eighth grade? Um, I think it benefits the eighth grade because our, uh, our economy is being more and more based off of STEM. So if we can learn to uh, be smarter with it, we can make more money. Wow, seems like eighth grade really loves STEM. <laughs> Keep on building, Eisenhower. Looks like guys now have some future careers in the STEM field. They sure do. Tomorrow's future's on the eighth grade concert. And now back to the house. Stevie and Shiloh. Thanks, Colin, Brady, and Billy. And now for the joke of the day. How do you divide the sea in half? I don't know. How? With the seesaw. What is that? It's Pikachu! Good luck, Eisenhower, Eisenhower girls basketball team. Go, go support, support them at FAMS. Thanks, Thanks for watching, Eisenhower. Have a time travel Tuesday. Tuesday.